Mojo in the Morning. Thanks for being here with us today. We're going to title this one, Shannon's Dad Ate the Pretzels. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, for an entire afternoon, I would say, I kept getting all of these emails from my dad, the legendary Tim Murphy, that were, like, really weird. The email was actually empty, but the subject lines were all just, like, WTF was one of them. Another one was just a bunch of, like, jumbled letters. I mean, I they made no sense whatsoever. And I thought, oh, my God, I, I hope my dad is okay. Is he being held hostage? Is he having a stroke? Yeah, like, something's wrong. I mean, he's pretty decent with technology so I like it wasn't that um he had been watching my dog while I was in Colorado and this was when I still hadn't picked up I didn't pick up my dog until late on Sunday so I thought maybe he's trying to send pictures of the dog which he had been doing for my whole trip but the pictures aren't attaching I I had no idea Hmm. but again the emails were completely empty so I was like dumbfounded with what was going on and I thought to myself all right Dad's probably had a few red dogs today. That's his favorite <laughs> beer. Like maybe he just, you know, up to the ante a little bit and he's a little intoxicated. Oh no, no. My sister, Emily, had given him a jar of pretzels. Pot pretzels. <laughs> but did, oh. did not tell him that they were edibles. Oh. So geez. he's sitting there all day popping these pretzels, <laughs> eating pretzels like they're a snack. Like you would eat the peanut butter pretzels in the container from Costco. And he sent her an email earlier in the day saying, Em, these the vegan pretzels that you gave me taste a little funny, but I'm still eating them. Because she's vegan, you know, and he he is always trying her vegan food. Like, she's always giving him, like, been making him vegan stuff. So she had, like, given him these pretzels. (laughs) He just cracked them open. They were green. And she's like, Dad, (laughs) Dad, those are marijuana pretzels. They're (laughs) edible. (laughs) And so his response was, that might explain my lawn mowing patterns today. (laughs) He went and mowed the grass. So my sister then sent me, like, their whole email exchange where he's finally realizing, oh, they're edibles. They're not just, like, normal pretzels. (laughs) But he was eating them by the hand handful all day oh my god wow with, it, with edibles i shouldn't say by the handful it, but he was eating like many at a time because the jar was yeah. only about this and, big but and with edibles you sometimes never know like how strong how potent they are mm-hmm. yeah and so you know having just one might be enough for you let alone eating handfuls <laughs> well, he probably of them had a couple dozen i don't know maybe like 20 is 24 your, is your dad uh does he partake in the uh he doesn't he doesn't. He does now. As far yeah. as I know, he doesn't. He, no. like, he like to eat lettuce? He's a, he's a red dog guy. No? He's a beer drinker. I love weed. <laughs> I smoke weed every second of every day. Hey, I am your stoner. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I went to pick up the dog. And I see the jar of pretzels like sitting there on the <laughs> table next to the couch. I go, Dad, put away the pretzels. You got to warn, by the way, Bring parents, especially when they, you he do have no like. no idea. You, I mean, especially with animals, you know what I mean? You never know. But but I, I wonder how many times has that ever happened where your parents, uh, you know, dabbled in yours and uh, then they get themselves a little bit, <laughs> a little bit stoned. Um, 844-MOJO-LIVE, 844 Ellen, did you bring back uh, edibles last weekend when you went to go visit the family and stuff? I did. Do your parents, did they ever uh, try? No, I asked both of them. My mom said that in college when she would, like, smoke or whatever with her friends, everyone else would, like, mellow out and want to, like, chill for the rest of the night, and it would make her more hyper, and she'd, like, want to go out. So she was like, if I take an edible before bed, I'm going to be up all night. Yeah. Do you know what you do? You do what Shannon's uh, sister did. You just give him a jar of them. Give him a jar of whatever, like gummies, and just say. A warning with that. (laughs) But you know what? It's fun to see. It's it's kind of fun to see people that are, you know, stoned, and to see them. I didn't get to see. I just got to witness the emails, but still so funny. Your dad already. Be honest with you. Your dad normally, when I see him, seems like he's stoned. Like he's. (laughs) He seems like he's just happy-go-lucky. Yeah. 
So I think seeing him like in that mood would be so funny. Yeah. You you guys communicate over email. Is that how your dad normally does it or well, no? So he doesn't text, remember, because he has a flip phone and yeah. refuses to get a smartphone. So he, if he wants to send a photo or something to me, he sends it through email. <laughs> yeah. I love, by the way, when parents uh, will do that. They'll email you, yeah. and, but they'll do the, just the subject line. Mine is, <laughs> my mom communicates through the Facebook com. She thinks it's, she's sending me a message, but it's her status. <laughs> Spike, you got to get your mom high sometime. Oh. I don't know. She does like two bottles of wine at night. That's pretty good. She's flying at the end of the night. <laughs> they called me last night to wish me happy birthday. They thought my birthday was yesterday. <laughs> Did they really? Yeah. Uh, you gave birth to me, Mom. It should be on the calendar. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, hi, Chris. You did this to your, your stepdad? Oh, no. I didn't do it to my stepdad. My brother did. What happened? Uh, Yeah, so uh, my mom had some uh, back pain, and... Uh, my brother decided to make some pretty intense uh, pot cookies to where it's just like one bite would be enough to uh, satisfy you for for pretty much half a day. And on my uh, my, my stepdad's birthday, he found he's a chocolate lover and they were chocolate chip and he found it in the uh, freezer and decided to mow down the entire cookie. Ooh. And uh, he was he was he couldn't talk. He was drooling and completely incapacitated. Oh, oh my. Gosh. For the rest of his birthday, uh, <laughs> and, and he slept it off. Yeah, uh, that was about it. Clearly, it he's high. That's great. Oh, well, super high. Stupid <laughs> high. Yeah. D did he enjoy it? Like, did after he found out what happened to him? Like, did he say, you know what, I'm gonna try this again, or was I'm not that? Sure that I'm, no, no, he definitely didn't want to try it again. <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes you, you, you sometimes you have such a bad experience. You're like, I'm never going to do that ever again. That was like my first experience with inedibles. Uh, my buddy Todd gave me a chocolate bar, and I it was so delicious. I just kept on eating it. That's the problem. The next day, I couldn't feel the floor. It's all our favorite treats. They need to make it like spinach or asparagus exactly. or something that you know you're going to have in moderation. Yeah, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, make them Brussels sprouts. Then I'll just have the dosage. What's up, Mona? Hey there. So I thought I'd share a quick story about my 17-year-old son who found my cookies that nobody knew I had. Oh, boy. <laughs> I get home. He said, are those edible cookies? And I said, what makes you think that? And he said, well, I ate a whole one. Personally, I only eat a half. Oh, boy. He, he ate a whole cookie. And I said, well, first of all, they kind of taste like crap. So why would you even? He said, oh, I had no idea. And then he wanted to go drive to a school function. And I said, no way. No way you are not driving. Oh, wow. So about two hours later, he gets home. He got a ride, you know, where he was going. And he comes home, and I looked at him, and his eyes were so slit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, my gosh, now I have to tell your dad. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't talk about it for a few weeks, and about a few weeks later, my son says, you know when I ate that cookie of yours? And I said, yes. He said, I was so stoned. <laughs> yeah. I have still never told him that a half is all you need. Yeah, you, uh, you need to you school him, should. Mom. It's probably yeah. a good idea to school him. Yeah, Dad wasn't too pleased with Mom. All right, well, you take care of yourself. Have a great day. All right, you too.